We really are. Staying close to mom and Uncle Ralph. Hi! I'm running really fast. So we are here at our new place in Arizona right now in March 3rd. I'm dealing with temperature where it's spring wind, summer sun. There's a cool breeze. That's the coolest spring breeze and the warmest fall. It's nice and sunny. And so that's how we're starting our day and hopefully I'll be climbing on my Sunday off. I'm leaving the resort and heading to either that mountain there or this one there and going to waterfalls. Let's check it out. Okay, so these are some of the, uh, one of the things we're going to, one of these mountains. It's crazy how small they look on camera and how big they look to my eye. And then, but check this out. So there's no snow there, but then look over here snow on top of those mountains how crazy is that what a difference i always say philly's a city of neighborhoods you cross the street and you're in a whole different neighborhood but oh my god snowy tops just at the very very tippy top no snow check it out no snow snow no snow snow that is super cool. Two different mountains right in front of me. Wow. And the little puppy dogs right in front of me. 
Look at the little puppet dog right there. That so smell. So, all right. We're approaching. Whoa, I'm in the desert. Oh, 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 what's this here? Whoa, wrong way, okay. Sabino Canyon Recreation Area over. Okay. Uh-huh. Look at all the cacti everywhere. I see a bunch of cars up here. Fee area? What? Over from, oh, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, there's hiking there. Yes! Mountain lions. Okay, so I am now in one of the national parks on a sort of unpaved, paved path. And so I had no idea how this works. So let's run through it while I walk towards that cliff over there. The paths are getting a lot smaller and less defined. Um, so I have a map here and basically um, when you want to come in, there's multiple ways to come into this park. There's only one main parking uh, area where there is an attendant who will take your money because, yes, you have to pay. Oh, we're going uphill now. We're starting to climb. Uh, you have to pay to get in no matter what. I went to an overflow parking area because it seemed like there'd be more chance of getting space. Um, I didn't know that the main area had a toll attendant. I didn't know you had to pay at all. I was just going to find a place that had the best amount of parking. Went to the overflow, and I saw next to the maps, I almost just walked by it, but the, there's red tags that you have to hang in your car to let them know that you paid the $5 parking fee. I don't have five in cash, just a credit card. And I was not out of breath until I started making this video. And all of a sudden we're climbing. And now I'm getting out of breath. So I turned around, went to the main parking area where there's was a security guard who did accept credit cards. And it went from what looked like a small type of park with relatively few people in the overflow that I started at to just a major touristy area. Tons of people with their hikers, hiking sticks with their baby carriages they were bringing babies everyone had on I saw somebody with like a, a GoPro type action camera on his shoulder um, I wanted to come here to do seven falls to look at all the waterfalls but the a river if you can believe it looking at this area it's apparently overflowed I don't see water anywhere Wow look at that you can see we're up high enough where I can see all the houses in the distance Started in the tourist trappy area spot, and there were some maps, not the ones that, that are handed out, but on the walls. And I asked for help from one of the park rangers. I s said I was going to do Seven Falls, and was told by the security gate attendant that the falls are flooded, and I can't cross there unless I want to go up to my knees in water, and I'm not dressed or ready to do that. Oh, I see one of the waterfalls. The lady said, if you want to go up high, take this path. It'll meet up with another path. None of them seem to be labeled very well. They said, like, you can take, like, an unpaved, paved path, like the one I'm on now. Or there's one that actually looks like it's a street. Flat, paved cement. No cars go on it. It's all just for people. It's a, it's a pedestrian street. But it's wide enough and smooth and straight and long enough that it would seem to anyone else to be a road that you drive on and I'm sure maybe they'd take emergency vehicles down that road if needed uh, 
I didn't really want to do that because I'm passing kids. Just lots of families, and I just really wanted to kind of explore on my own. Have my water, have another water in the car. Um, and really, I wanted to get up there. I was just looking for the highest point that's closest to me, and that's that. There's a couple of points way over yonder, which, damn, it's amazing how much these cameras don't show you the scope and how high things are. So I'm just gonna move as much as I can. I'm timing myself, so I know how long it took me to get here, so I know how long it takes to get back. And it's a 15 minute drive back. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm okay, here we are in the park. There's the snowy mountain, way, way far away from where we actually are. Um, we can get close to those mountains. I'm supposed to take this trail, I believe. I'd love to get up there. I don't know if I have access to it. We'll try. Look at the houses that are like embedded into the sides of the mountains. Pretty much center of frame of my shot. And then there's the town way off in the distance. That big uh, long building in the center of frame is one of the visitor centers at least. That's not where I started from. Uh, and over here, there's a snowy mountaintop. How crazy is that, a snowy mountaintop? Okay, so there's the paved road that looks like a driving road, and that's what people are driving, uh, walking on. Um, and I think that road, I was supposed to keep taking that up the wilderness border once it turns into wilderness they say it's the same terrain because it's that road but and I'd love to get up there but I'm already exhausted and it's already been like 20 30 minutes just trying to get up in this direction it's been 17 minutes when I started I started the clock late so it's been about 20 minutes to get this far um, that's still the mountain that I want to climb up um, which I don't think I'm gonna get to I'm on a cliff, of course, I'm on the edge of something. See, there's the, there's the edge. Um, there's the waterfalls, you can see the waterfalls a lot better. There's rivers, and you can see the waterfall, I think. It's hard for me to see with my sunglasses. And there's the rest of the world back there, so... These mountains are ginormous, I mean, the span of them. It's kind of like the Grand Canyon in terms of like the scope of how much your eyes have to look left, right, up and down to really capture everything. Yay! That's a cool shot. I want you to see how, how high up I am, but I want you to see the sky. There really isn't much um, walking path. It kind of stopped at this cliff. So um, I'm going to have to traverse down somehow this doesn't look like it's going to be easy i might even have to backtrack which i don't want to do because the path keeps going so all right at least we got up high somewhat high cool so that's where i started that was where i was doing the video and i had to come down all of this it was long and i got a lot of prickles jammed into my legs <laughs> i took some of the, the biggest ones out mostly but I got tons of little prickles. Okay, well, I'm literally headed upstream without a paddle. I tried to start to climb up there and it didn't work. But maybe something over here. It's not that it was too high for me, it was that the, the landscape, it was too narrow. Um, basically every inch was a firm, thick, spiky cactus that I couldn't get around, so. We'll go try something like this if I can get up there. Okay, we're still in the middle of the desert with a little stream. And while there's no way in hell I'm getting up there, I know that the, the cactus looks spread out because there's so many huge cactuses that look spread out, but there's so many mini cactuses you can't see. So, I'm gonna try to climb up here. No cactus. Okay. Okay, I am halfway up. There's the river down below. You can see people. To give you an idea of scale. All right. 
and a little bit more to go. Cool, look at that. That'll make a great photo. Hold on. There, oh, there it is. Yup. Maybe this way. Yeah, you gotta see more stuff than just the cacti. Ooh, that's a nice shot right there. Get a little bit of sun bloom. Alright. There's another cacti. See, these are the tiny little cacti that are just everywhere up on those mountains that is just really hard to see from up here. Also, the rocks are really, it's all just rubble. It's all just loose rocks. So once I got up to, you know, these brown rocks, that might be easier, but it's very loose rocks where there's no spikes. It's either a lot of spiky plants that are stabbing your leg or it's very loose rock. <clears throat> so let's continue on. Let's, uh, let me give you a vantage point, show you what it looks like. Come with me. And we'll be in a world of beauty. Okay. And there's people for a sense of scale. We're not as high up as those rocks, but we're we're hanging with the best of them. <clears throat> That's a cool little peak right there. I wish there was somebody closer. Fire truck, uh-oh. Okay, there's people kind of close to me. And there's ambulances. They're not here for me. Beautiful. Now the question is how the fuck to get down because I climbed up this path right here. There's yellow, is that moss? I thought those were, I think that's yellow paint. So I gotta, oh, there's people. That's how high up I am, okay? Cool. So I was up there. I climbed on the other side of this rock up to that tip. And then I came down somewhere around here and it got kind of hairy but I made it down now we're here I'm on flat sand and we should be heading home I got my climbing in yeah traversed up one of the smaller mountains but man that was a challenge uh, so I guess it's good I didn't make it all the way up to the things that I was looking at from the hotel <laughs> oh look at this those things have been stabbing me all day. Now we're back to the path. And we're gonna walk on smooth surface. I'm trying to stay out of the way as much as possible, but there's a fire truck, an ambulance, and two sheriff cars that pulled up right near where I was climbing. I hope someone didn't report me. Uh, but they're all going that way. I was over this way. But uh, I said hi to them. I uh, filled up my water. They had a little water station, so I filled up my water. But I really gotta head back. I can't be wasting too much time because I need time to shower and get to this wedding. But they say someone might be trapped. I don't know. Are they trapped like way up there? They might be. Ah, I got something in my shoe. Maybe I should call them over. I got something in my shoe, a little rock. No matter, I'm not, I'm gonna fight through it. Fight through that rock. I don't hear anybody like screaming up there. It's such a big place. I'm glad their cell phone works. I tried to send a text message and it f failed at first. Uh, wish I had footage of me actually doing the climbing, but I mean, I already had this water bottle in my hand. I tried to tuck it into a pocket and it didn't always work, so I was either one-handed <coughs> or no-handed because one hand was climbing and the other hand was holding onto this, so I couldn't film it. But you saw me at the top there. And now I'm just going to do a power walk back to the car. I wish, I wish you could understand the scope of these things. How far away that is from me. And yet it looks so huge. <clears throat> I mean, knowing now that I've actually tried to climb something and realizing how much climbing there is just to go the little bit that I did, 
because now I've seen what I've climbed in comparison to what I have not climbed, and what I've climbed is significantly smaller than that, and what I did was a beast of a climb. <clears throat> so, yeah, somebody's stuck up there, and no wonder they're calling for help. Maybe they're just too exhausted to get down, because uh, I was pretty exhausted, and I had my water. Heck yes. Cool. Look at that angry picture. Oh my gosh. We took anxiety medication. There's not a cloud in the sky where we are. Uh, but I'll check in with you. We make it through.
most current flight and gate information is in the I'm definitely walking. Oh yeah. 100% I'm using my legs to walk right now. Just kidding, we're on an escalator thing.